it's time for Seattle Sips, where we check out amazing drinks in our area. You know, with fall just around the corner, we're learning how to make some delicious seasonal drinks. And for that, we are joined by Michelle Lang Raymond and Coach Crosby with The Scene in South Park. Hello! Hello. 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 Good, Good to see you guys. <laughs> See you. Okay, so the scene yeah. actually the only black owned business in the South Park neighborhood. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the collaboration yeah. and how opening came about. So, you know, we actually didn't know we were the only black owned business in South Park until we were actually there. And we were just sort of trying to find out what was our distinction, what made us unique in the area. Mm -hmm. And we realized that we were, we were that. We were the only black owned business. And so that we were always going to celebrate that. But once we actually found that out, it became like a highlight of, of our existence, of our of our distinction. That's awesome. It's yeah. also an extension of your work as the founder of Axon Stage Theater. Yeah. So kind of tell us about how that's providing opportunities for creatives and young yeah. entrepreneurs. You no, know, let me tell you, let me tell you a little bit more about how we became. So I got a call from a friend that said, hey, they're selling this coffee shop. And I was like, I've never owned a coffee shop mm -hmm. before. But it was sort of one of those things where once somebody sort of introduces an idea to you, you can't let it go. You're yeah. like, I totally oh, want to yeah. do it. So I called my friends at Verity Credit Union. I called some people that I knew at Verity Credit Union and asked them, you know, were they helping support women-owned or black-owned, people of color-owned businesses? And they were, and that's how we actually got launched. And they had been supporters of Acts on Stage as well. And so right now we exist to make sure that we are there to create space for people, especially artists and creatives, um, with our business. Wow, it's yeah. really a testament to maybe asking questions when you're interested in something mm -hmm. instead of saying, well, I've never done it before, right? Yeah. So I think that is so inspiring yeah. to people. So we're talking about good drinks, good conversation, and good art. Uh, <laughs> I love it all. So <laughs> we're actually going to learn how to make a tasty drink. What are we making today? All right, so I am Coach Crosby, as y'all said. Mm -hmm. I'm the general manager at the scene down yep. in South Park. And um, so today we're going to be making a red velvet latte. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, it's fall time. Yep. Um, red velvet is huge in, honestly, for me, the black community in terms of the holidays. So mm -hmm. I'm bringing y'all into our world. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank so you. let's get it popping. Yeah, let's All do All right. It. So I got oat milk just in case. Oh, Perfect. We Thank appreciate that. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. I won't need to take my dairy pill. Yeah. <laughs> about this so much. I care about I this tell you so how many conversations we've had much. about milk. Oh, good. So we are pouring all of this in here. So this is some oat milk. Beautiful. Come on, keep going, keep, keep going. Keep going, oat milk. Okay. Yeah. Yep, there you go. And then we're going to put some ice in here. Mm -hmm. I like how it's almost being assembled like a cocktail. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. People love that at the scene that we, you know, That's make so our cool. ice drinks like this. Yeah. You know. One of the things we that we really velvet. care about mm -hmm. is like when people come in, they're not just coming in to get a drink and leave. Yeah. We actually want them to come in and feel like they're at their favorite family member's house or just someplace oh. where they know people and people know them. Yeah. And that they're getting drinks served and made in a way that makes them feel like we see you, we know you, and we want you to experience something beautiful in your drink yeah yes. lovely and you know like in the black community just in terms of especially like holidays when you come to somebody's house first thing they're gonna do is say baby you hungry yeah. okay. oh, that's very sweet yes. right and the answer is always yes, yes. whether you are or not the answer is yes, yes. always say yes, yes. Oh. Okay. Yes. <laughs> all right, let me get this off. You're going to need to use all your muscles <laughs> My hands on are that. so slippery. Oh, no. So while you're oh, doing no. that, why don't you come tell on. us about some of the events you have coming up? Well, we have a couple of artist features. Well, if you come to the scene, yeah. yeah. If you come to the scene right now, you'll actually see art on our walls by mm -hmm. an artist named Christopher Coleman, and he's our first feature. And so one of the things we're, we're deliberate about is that we want to use our space to um, focus on and uh, focus and showcase local artists. So this week is Christopher Coleman. In a couple of days, it'll be Amber Corinne Donaldson. Um, this weekend, we have Debbie Hagen, who's doing some of her jewelry and her book reading. She's, she just recently wrote a children's book. And so again, we're using our space not just to serve coffee and pastries and, and donuts and that kind of thing, yeah. but also to invite artists in to have a space where their stuff can be seen and honored. And um, the scene in South Park name comes from this notion that everybody is somebody in the scene. So mm -hmm. I come from a theater background, and a lot of times the people who get applauded in theater are the people who are the lead actors or whatever. Uh -huh. But yep. the truth of the matter is everybody in the scene matters. You guys matter on camera as well as your crew yeah, and your course. producers. Everybody matters in the scene, and so um, everybody is somebody in the scene. And so that's what um, we're hoping to showcase in our drinks and as we showcase young artists. Yeah. That is so beautiful. And it is so festive. <laughs> Look at okay. this. This is just in time for the holidays. We know we're jumping ahead, you know, because it's just now getting into fall. But yeah. we're like, let's bring them something that's colorful and just feels like holiday 
um, holiday early. So yes. beautiful. All right, yeah, can we jump in and try? Go ahead, Absolutely. grab a straw. Grab a straw. Oh, okay. oh, good. We have Here straws. We I was yes. actually thinking you. I'm going to be getting <laughs> whipped cream, oh, oh, whip cream mustache. Let's see here. here I was go. down to do it. Mm. Thank you, sir. There you go. Oh, oh this yes. Is so good. Yes. Creamy oh, yes. dessert brings wow. me to the later months of the yeah. year. Can y'all taste the red velvet? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> We can't answer you. Yeah. We're drinking it. Yeah. Okay. Down well, the make sure y'all come down to the scene and check out our new drinks, the red velvet latte, y'all, just in time for the holidays. You definitely will. Thank you so much. Thank Michelle you. and Coach, we'll see you soon. All right. And we've posted more info on the scene in South Park on our website, fox13seattle.com slash studio13live. And still ahead, get ready to fly how the Flight Club Foundation